the verdict of the Supreme Court on the appointment of the Vice Chancellor of Kannur University has brought out the blatant nepotism and corruption indulged in by the Chief Minister of the State. Very clearly, the Supreme Court has said that the appointment of the Vice Chancellor is the sovereign authority of the Chancellor. And nobody, even the pro-Chancellor, has no authority to intervene or suggest in the appointment of the Vice Chancellor. In this case of uh, the Vice Chancellor, the, the Vice Chancellor's appointment in Kannur University, the Governor has very clearly mentioned that he was in a way under duress. He was influenced by the Chief Minister and because of the pressure exerted on him, he had to appoint the person as Vice Chancellor. Now, this is a very, very serious charge, a proven fact that the court verdict has brought out, that the Chief Minister has indulged in corruption, Chief Minister has indulged in nepotism. And we should understand the fact that this appointment was made on the next day of the appointment of the Chief Minister's private secretary's wife as a professor in that university by the Vice Chancellor. So it's a sort of a quid pro quo that the Vice Chancellor appoints the Chief Minister's private secretary's wife, Vice Chancellor gets a reappointment. So this is a very, very blatant, very serious issue. But the more surprising thing about it is the Opposition leader, he has, he came out even before the, his, the party of CPM, even before the chief minister's party came out with a justification, the opposition leader came out with a statement demanding the resignation of the higher education minister. See, in this whole issue, the governor has very clearly mentioned the role of the chief minister. Whatever the higher education minister has done after that, and many others have done also, that was a continuation and in support of the effort initiated by the chief minister. So chief minister is the number one culprit. But it is surprising that the Kerala opposition, led by the Congress, their leader, Mr. Satishan, they are more eager to save the chief minister than the Chief Minister's own party. This shows the sorry state of affairs of the Congress in Kerala, of the opposition in Kerala. The, I am not asking, I am not demanding that the Chief Minister should own the moral uh, responsibility for this. Because we know what is the, what is the, what uh, the, the, the Chief Minister's views that he has taken on morality and issues of morality. I am demanding that the Kerala people of Kerala doesn't want a corrupt chief minister to rule the state, to govern the state. So I am demanding the chief minister to resign forthwith and let the people of Kerala have a chief minister who is upright, who doesn't indulge in nepotism.